Hey guys, welcome back. Um, if you're new here, my name is Jeanette and I give a prophetic word whenever the Lord wants me to come on here. So this morning, um, the Lord wanted me to share these words with you guys. I actually wrote a few words down. Um, so yeah, let's pray and we'll get right into this video. Father God, we just thank you for this time, for this hour, Lord, that you are just with us. You are pouring your spirit upon the remnant, Lord, and your children and those, Father God, who are just believing and trusting in you, Lord. We thank you in this hour that this word will be received and will be accepted, Lord, into our hearts and that we will walk this word in faith and in truth and in your Holy Spirit, Father God. We thank you for, for what you're doing right now, Lord. I do ask that you purify us and you cleanse us in this hour, Jesus, to do all the things you've asked us to do, to walk according to the plans you have for our lives. And we thank you in your mighty name we pray, amen. Sorry guys, I haven't had coffee yet. So um, so yeah, you guys, um, as I was just praying this morning, um, I like to pray in the spirit, um, in, in tongues, in, in our native language. And I, I just asked the Lord, if you want me to give a word this morning, then I'll go ahead and do so. Obviously, I'm just the kind of person where if the Lord speaks to me, that's what I'm gonna do. So um, I put a little bit of worship on and just spend a little bit of time meditating in his presence. And um, he gave me a few words to write down to share with you guys, so I'll just get right into it. Um, the Lord says, oh, excuse me, the Lord says, it is time for my people to rejoice in the Lord. He gave me the scripture, Romans 8, 25 through 21. So I'm just gonna go ahead. Sorry guys, I'm just gonna go ahead and find it right now. And if you have your Bible, you guys can just um, study along with me. Um, I like to read in, in my Bible. I know some people have the Bible and I have the Bible on my phone as well. There's just something about opening the, my actual Bible that just, you know, the words that, that God just comes alive to me even more. Um, so bear with me, guys. Um, I'm so sorry, you guys. <laughs> I was looking completely elsewhere. Um, I, like I said, I have not had coffee today, and I'm just like <laughs> trying to wake up still. So Romans 8.25, I have not read this scripture. I'm reading it on camera with you guys. So Romans chapter 8, verse 25 through 31. But if we hope for what we do not yet have, we wait for it patiently. In the same way, the Spirit helps us in our weakness. We do not know what we ought to pray for, but the Spirit himself intercedes for us through wordless groans. And he who searches our hearts, knows the mind of the Spirit, because the Spirit inter intercedes for God's people in accordance with the will of God. And we know that in all things, God worked for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. For those God foreknew, he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his Son, that he might be the firstborn among many brothers and sisters. And those he predestined, he also called, those he called, he also justified. Those he justified, he also glorified. That's beautiful, you guys. Um, the Lord is saying in this hour, you know, his presence is within us. He lives within us. So, and side note, if we're ever feeling lonely, if we're ever feeling as though God isn't there, he's not listening, he lives within us. Um, I think it takes for us to truly be still within his presence and just allow him to minister to us. Allow him to come in and just gently speak to us. I think sometimes we come with all of our requests and, and all of our petitions. And it's not that he's not listening. It's that he's there. But sometimes it's just, it's beautiful to be in his moment and just, you know, just sit in his presence and be still. And he'll come to you. He'll speak to you on behalf of the things that are on your heart. I just wanted to put that out there. Um, God is a good father. And in the scripture, you know, he says, he works all things out for the good of those who love him, who love the Lord. Amen to that. So I'll keep reading what he wanted me to share with you guys. Um, he says, you are worthy. 
gave me another scripture. <laughs> Bear with me. I think this is, there's one more scripture, but um, we're going to go to 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 14. Okay. I am going to drink the biggest cup of coffee after this. I'm like a little behind today. Okay, so 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 14, you guys, says, And if Christ has not been raised, our preaching is useless, and so is your faith. I'll keep going. More than that, we are then found to be false witnesses about God, for we have testi testified about God that he raised Christ from the dead, but he did not raise him if it i'm sorry but he did not raise him if in fact the dead are not raised for if the dead are not raised then christ has not been raised either and if christ has not been raised your faith is futile you are still in your sins then those who also have fallen asleep in christ are lost if only for this life we have hope in christ we are of all people most to be pitied so um reading this scripture um you know, our faith is solely reliant in the Lord. And if you believe in Jesus, if you believe for all the things that Jesus stands for, that God sent him to die, his only son to die on a cross, to bear our sins. And if you truly believe that, then you are part of the remnant, part of the faithful, the, one, the, the children who understand who the Lord is. And what he's doing even in this hour so i just want you guys to understand that if you are a believer if you've been maybe struggling with the idea of maybe i'm not you know you, you see everybody else and you kind of compete or maybe not compete maybe compare and you're not understanding why you don't hear as much as you should or why you don't understand as much as much as you should just understand and know through the lord's wisdom he will speak to you individually, uniquely. And as long as you know in your heart that you believe in the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and that God sent his only son to die on a cross for us, you are saved and you are faithful. He also says he cares for your needs, even in times of desperation. He supplies and he provides. The Lord could and would never take you where he wouldn't provide. Amen to that. Have faith and hope in his word. Now is the time to repent. Give Jesus your burdens. He wants to take them off your hands. He says that you are tired, but he comes in strength and righteousness. You guys, I know like we hear of, oh, repent of your sins and you can't do this and you can't do that. Just understand that we are human. The Lord made us with how we are it's the enemy comes in and he tries to pervert us and tries to make us think otherwise and tries to allow us to feel like you know um just to live in fear and just know that the lord is a god of love he's a god of faith he's a god of light and abundance so if you're ever feeling as though you're kind of um feeling like that guilt of something or whatever the case may be just know that that's not the lord the lord doesn't come that way he does touch our hearts he does convict us so that we can turn around and do the work that he's called us to do. But he doesn't keep that on us. He doesn't condemn us to the point where we feel like we're just complete sinners. We are born sinners. And when we find the Lord and we're saved, he changes us entirely. So that if we do fall into the enemy's trap by any means, his forgiveness is there every time. Um, and I think I'll get into this. In a different video just because i want to actually explain to you guys the lord's forgiveness and his grace and yeah so um the lord says whatever the enemy is trying to attack you with whatever satan is trying to ensnare you with he's given you the authority to bind him hallelujah you guys literally you have the authority the holy spirit lives within you he lives inside of you you have his authority to call things out as they are and he gives you the wisdom to speak those words and he gives you the authority amen he gave me the scripture james chapter 4 7 um james chapter 4 7 
sorry guys, bear with me. Um, okay guys, so I have not read these scriptures, I just wrote them down. So, James chapter 4 verse 7, the Lord says, Submit yourselves then to God, resist the devil and he will flee from you. Come near to God and he will come near to you. Wash your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, you double-minded. Grieve, mourn, and wail. Change your laughter to mourning and your joy to gloom. Humble yourselves before the Lord and he will lift you up. Amen. Hallelujah. That word is so uplifting, you guys. The Lord says submit to him and he will do the things that you've been praying for. He will humble you. He will up uproot you into the person that he wants you to become for his glory and resist the devil, resist Satan in whatever way that looks like to you. If he's coming in your life trying to attack you, trying to ensnare you, trying to trap you, you have the authority to call him out like I said before. You have the authority to bind him in Jesus' name. We rebuke you, Satan. Get thee behind me in Jesus' name by the blood of Jesus. Um. Um, this specific word is for, I don't know if this is a specific person or um, if it's maybe a couple people. The Lord did say is for someone. Um, the Lord says you lost your car in, a, in an accident. It was completely totaled, but the Lord is going to replace what the enemy tried to take you out of. So the Lord's going to bless you if you, and, and you know, um, the Lord is with you. The Lord guides you and he protects you at all your costs. So don't be afraid. And like I said, this is a moment to stand up in authority and bind Satan, rebuke him. He has no stronghold over any of your lives, you guys. In Jesus' name, I feel, his, I feel the Lord's presence. The Lord says, this time for many of us, for many who have been waiting, be prepared. Be ready, you guys. I cannot emphasize this enough. I feel it in my spirit. I feel it in, like within me. Be ready. Be ready. The Lord's been speaking to you to be ready and to to prepare yourself in whatever ways that looks like if it's packing your bags if it's cleaning your room so for many of you guys be ready position yourself whatever the lord told you to do in this hour do so he's with you and he guides you um this word is for somebody who has cancer many of you guys that have found out or maybe you're battling it or maybe the enemy's trying to scare you with this um jesus wants to heal you lord i just pray for divine healing over your your children, Father God, who who have received this news or who, who Satan is trying to behold with this, Father God, I rebuke it and I cancel it and I send your healing. Jesus, I just provide them with your healing in the name of Jesus. Father God, I thank you in this hour for what you're doing. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Um, the Lord gave me, and I'll be very quick because I have to go, but the Lord gave me this scripture in Jeremiah 33, verse 6, and it says, um, sorry guys, I'm kind of in a rush, but not for the Lord. <laughs> Nevertheless, I will bring health and healing to it. I will heal my people and will let them enjoy abundant peace and security. Hallelujah. The Lord is so good, you guys. The last word that he wanted me to share with you guys is, don't take your eyes off of Jesus. He is doing a new thing within you. No eye has seen and no no ear has heard what the Lord is about to do in your life. And he, he wanted me to leave you guys with his, um, his scripture. I didn't actually look up, which I'll leave it down below, but no weapon formed against you will prosper in the name of Jesus. You guys, this is the hour to present yourselves before the Lord without spot, wrinkle, or blemish. He is with you, he loves you, and he's beside you. Whatever you do, take whatever it is, prayer, gifts, requests, bring it to the Lord in this hour and he will bless you. Thank you guys for watching this video. Share it, subscribe if you have to. Um, I don't really ask for anything, to be honest. Um, if you do want to sew into my ministry, I'll just leave my email down below. But like I said, I don't ask for anything. This, this channel, I'm doing it because the Lord called me to do it. But God bless you guys and I'll talk to you guys soon.